Yo, what's good, Grey Gang? We are in an absolute emergency. Oh gosh, we gotta get up here now. Long story short, um, do you remember whenever I moved that chicken up here? Well, there's a snake about to eat her. What in the world? Where'd he go? Dang it, where'd he go? Come on. Dude, what in the world? He's here somewhere. He's gotta be. Oh, there he is, there he is. The biggest black snake I've ever seen and saw in my life. Can y'all see him? Right there he was. Listen guys, here's a story. I put my chicken over here because you know I wanted her to be by herself. I come over here, flip the top, look at her. There's a big snake curled up. There's a stinking snake. So I've got to go kill him. I've got to get in there and cut him up. Guys, I'm sorry if y'all really like snakes or something, but this thing's trying to kill my chicken. All I'm armed with is a stinking shovel. I don't know how to do this. Cut him, I guess. This is the scariest thing I've ever stinking done. He's a black snake, but he's still scary. Oh my goodness, it's a snake. It's a snakey snake. Come on out, snake. You're not going anywhere. You are not about to kill my chickens. You are not about to do this to me. This is bullet. You stinking snake. You tried to kill my... You tried to kill my... God. Stay down, son. Oh, I'm destroyed. Oh, she's coming towards me. Stay back. Stay back. You will die before you touch any of my chickens. No, 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 no. Try me one more time, buddy. Try me one more time, you big snake. For a second, couldn't tell if he was a snake or Kevin Durant. I ain't having that now. This is a stinking five foot long snake. I come up here trying to check on my chicken. I pop the top, so and there is a stinking massive snake handler looking outfit sitting right there. I was like, oh no, sis. I know where a frog gig is. I said, I'll come back here and I'll kill this thing with a frog gig. Well, couldn't find the frog gig, but a shovel's just as good in my opinion. That's right, we're about to have a snake for dinner. We are 20 out of 21 days hatching these chicks, and you not about to ruin it. Let's just say, uh, well, I'm not a big fan of snakes. Not much of a fan at all. All right, Bullet. Well, looks like here in about five minutes, we are, uh, we're gonna move you because this ain't safe. I'm lucky I didn't come over here and see a snake with a chicken in its mouth. Oh my goodness, dude. What in the world? Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang. Down to the ground, son. You have the right to remain silent. Get down away from my Chicken. I don't know if this is classified as violence or not, but uh, it, now that I think about it, it might be. So, sorry if that uh, shocked you a little bit, but uh, well, uh, at least we saved our chicken. It's all that really matters at this point, and uh, well, there is a six foot snake dead. Hot dog bullet, we gotta get you out of here. I bet there's a nothing sitting here watching me right now. Chainsaw massacre going on over there. We got time for that, okay? We got a snake. A serpent. A Slytherin, if you will. We gotta get this guy out of here, man. You think you can beat me? You are stinking wrong. He's still stinking curling up, because that's what he does. He's a stinking snake. Ha, dog, son. You try to pull a fast one on me, guess what? I pull a faster one on you. Get down to the... Get, get, get down on the ground. Talking about an egg thief. This right here is why you have your nest boxes elevated. Bullet, I tell you what, just hang loose. We're gonna go take care of this snake. My fault, my fault. Oh my gosh, he just grabbed me with his tail. That was weird. I ain't no Harry Potter, son. You better not be trying to talk to me. Watch out! This is so massive! Oh my goodness! Dude, Chad, look at this! Chad, bro, look! Uh, Kendall, you have outdone yourself today. You might as well just become a security guard. Let's pull this thing out in the open and take a look. Now, just from looking at him, I'm about 100% positive he's a black snake. Now, if you don't know, black snakes are actually not venomous, and they do eat venomous snakes. So they're actually pretty beneficial snakes. Everything is good, in the right amount. Whenever you cross the line and try to eat my chicken, I'm gonna get you a shovel and cut your head off. Sorry, bro. It's just how it goes. But good stinkingness, man. Hashtag Jesus. Look, here's a croc. There's a croc. Crocs are cool, but those are scary. No cap, guys. No cap. His head's touching the ground. His tail is taller than me. This, and I'm six foot. This is a six foot long snake. Now, since we do name about everything on the channel, we're gonna go ahead and uh, name this one Carol. Here's a real close, up close look at its head. Cause I'm not gonna get too close, cause then again, I don't like snakes. It's not poisonous, and well, it's definitely dead. Then again, there's always those people that say, oh, a snake can kill, kill you after his head's been detached for 60 days. Or something like that, I don't Some know. Some left side brain trauma from the shovel. His snout has been compromised, but uh, that right there is just the look into the eyes of a killer. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I don't, I don't even have a clue how many things this guy has killed in order to become six foot long. Look at it. The classic reptile move. Move six hours after it's dead. I have been instructed not to eat him because that's how the coronavirus started. Eating things that probably shouldn't be eaten. But we are definitely going to inspect this guy. Justice will be served. Even though it's kind of already been served, but you know. Okay, Bullet, we're gonna come in here for your second and hopefully final relocation. Sorry for putting you in 
possibly one of the worst places ever. I'll just take a real quick look, make sure there's his buddies not with him, but uh, I think we're good. I'm just gonna cover you up and I'll walk you down to where we're going. And Bullet is now in her new enclosure. She has a rainproof cover, water ready for her chicks, and a little bit of food right there. She's not been eating much lately, maybe because she's about to hatch them already. She's 100% gonna hatch them within the next two days. But now for the snake, I was thinking, what can we actually do with it? The answer I came up with is nothing yet. I mean, I can't eat it. Um, there's And besides eating it, there's really nothing else to do with a snake. So. Can, can we catch a catfish on, his, on a snake, maybe? Guys, just getting a better look at this, I'm starting to look at the scars of this snake. I mean, there's a pretty good battle scar there, there, really big one there. Guys, I feel like this guy's uh, escaped death quite a few times. Also looked it up on Google, and the average is three to five feet. And any of them bigger than that, they're kind of like really big. And this one's actually six foot, so he's bigger than average. 72 inches this bad boy is. Now, I do want to make it clear that the only reason that I actually killed this snake was out of like defense in a way. If it wasn't about to kill my chicken and eat the eggs, I wasn't going to kill it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that like really like snakes. And for you guys, I'm sorry, but then again, I was protecting those who can't protect themselves. Themselves. AKA chickens. Well, guys, the fishing part of this isn't really going too good. Not getting any bites. I don't think anything's too interested in eating a snake. Maybe they don't want to get the corona. We're going to throw him on in the pond. Something will eat him eventually. Might be a crawdad, might be a turtle. Swim with the fishes. We are back out here, guys. We have two shotguns looking right there, a box of full clay pigeons, and a clay pigeon thrower. Now, today's actually been a pretty interesting day. It is 4.30, and it is the first time it's actually stopped raining. So yeah, guys, I've actually been sitting by the window, and as soon as the rain stopped, I jumped out here. We got stuff to do. Now, what we have to do is pretty simple. I mean, it's a, it's a clay pigeon. We're gonna be sure it's the clay pigeon, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm gonna make a deal with you here in a minute. But anyways, first, on goes ear protection. Mm. There we go. The first one is loaded. First gun, Remington 870. Well, missed it. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. But yeah, that is right, I did say I was gonna make a deal with you, and it's kind of a two-way deal. The weapons I have here is my Remington 870 and the Hatfield, the semi-automatic I was showing earlier in one of my past videos. But I wanted to make a deal with you guys. If we can pull 40,000 likes on this video, we will come out here and shoot clay pigeons with a Spaz 12. Kendall, dude, do you have a Spaz 12? <laughs> no. But I will if we can get 40,000 locks, I can tell you that. And because Spaz 12s are not cheap at all, we're going to have to make a Spaz 12 fund. I want y'all to use this promo code SPAZ, all caps. It's going to give you 5% off the site wide as well. So if you want to go out there and get the Predator shirt, it is straight up orange. That way you will not get shot during hunting season. Or if you want to go a hunting route, you can always pick up the hunting fanny pack. Doesn't matter what you want, guys. Use code SPAZ and it'll give you 5% off. Also, one thing that's really selling really good is the face mask. We've got them in eight different colors. And the CDC is actually recommending if you go anywhere out in public, be sure to wear some type of mask. And I already know that you want to look good with your mask, so get a KG mask. But without further ado, guys, I think we sling some shells into the old half field and shoot some semi-automatic. I'm thinking we put two. We're going for both of them. Oh, well, that is, that is, wow. That is nothing to shoot. It just exploded. Wow, what is going up with these? Also, guys, stay tuned because I drove by the chicken. She's hatched her eggs. We got chicks. That's what we're talking about, son. That's right, baby, let's go! Okay, guys, I'll be honest. I actually don't know if this camera angle see seen any of the clay pigeons, so I've got a scope cam. Let's go! Let's go 40,000 likes! We need a fast win! Also, I'd like to mention that my goats are sitting here just chilling. They do not care at all. They hear boom, they say, huh? They're about like mammy. <laughs> Chad, Chad, bro, leave it alone. Chad, Chad, bro, I'm trying to, Chad, get out of the way. Hey, bro, 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 no, 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 you can't eat it. Get out of the way. Gosh, Chad, you're trying to eat my pigeons? No, that's not, no, no, Chad, stop. That's not how it works. This, this dude's, this dude's literally just eating, eating grass in front of my, dude, get out of the way, Chad. I already told you to get out of here. Anyways, we'll go ahead and load some in. 
Launching now. Okay. 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 That'll do it for me. Boom, baby. Believe it or not, guys, I don't miss as much as y'all act like I do. Well, actually, yeah, I do actually. Am I? Ready? Pull. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. I don't know if I can hit moving targets with this gun. Sounds like a bunch of baloney to me. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna make a little bet with y'all. If I miss this one, then that promo code is actually worth 6%. Ooh, bird. If I hit it, it's still worth five. Hit it, 5% off, baby, let's go. I'm not awful with that gun, but I'm not great with it either. And also guys, be sure to pick up your shotgun shells because they're made of plastic and they do not like turn into dirt anytime soon. Takes them a really, really long time. Let's go check out those chicks. Here for just a second, guys. I'm gonna be throwing every knife that I make. First off, we got the hatchet. That's what I just threw. Oh, oh go, go. Then we have the hunting survival knife. And then, of course, we're pulling out the KG pocket knife. This one I'm actually kind of good at. That actually ended very badly. I missed three out of three. About a year ago, we actually did a will it throw a knife video, and a lot of you guys really liked it. So I figured I'd just come out here for a little bit of this video and just throw some stuff. Hey, hey, Chip, Chip, might be a good idea to get out of the way. I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't even know where this one's going. That one hit really good. Not bad, not bad. But throwing is all about rotation. Rotation is one thing I do not have. You're literally in the red zone. You're gonna have to get out of there. I'm, I'm literally about to kill you if you don't move. Chip, get out of the way! I told you, Chip, I told you. I just can't control my aim sometimes. There we go. There we go. One more. This is a lot harder than it looks. Okay guys, we are gonna be kinda quiet cause I don't wanna disturb her. I know for a fact that this hen actually hasn't hatched all of her chicks yet because I don't think she's supposed to until tomorrow. But it is pretty common for chicks to hatch maybe a day early or a day late, stuff like that, so. And plus, I can see a chick. There's a broken egg and uh, can y'all see the chick? She's sitting back there. She's still covering them up because they're so young they still need to be pretty warm, but at least we definitely know that at least one chick's hatched. And uh, right there he is, so. The hatching process has begun, and here in a couple of days she should be fully hatched, and well, hopefully those chicks will actually be walking around. Tell you what, guys, it's actually starting to rain, and I don't want my shotguns to rust, so uh, <laughs> don't forget we want 40,000 likes and use that promo code SPAC. Kindergarten1.com slash shop for first in the description. Don't forget, I'll see you later, guys. It is four in the rain.